Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Renee Summerauer. Thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. MGM's website is back up, but reservation systems are still affected by the hack. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more details. Now entering day six of the MGM Resorts International cybersecurity issue believed to be a cyber attack by hackers, we now have new details. Payroll was speculated to be an issue for employees as there was a fear that computerized payroll systems were knocked out by the issue. But sources telling the Review Journal that employees were paid as planned on Friday. In a new statement on its website, MGM said the vast majority of the offerings at its Las Vegas properties remain operational. The company said it can process credit card transactions, though in some cases it may be quicker to use cash and MGM is now waiving change in cancellation fees for guests with bookings from September 13th through the 17th. However, reservations can only be made at MGM properties through third party booking sites. The company also launched a page on its website to answer frequently asked questions about staying and booking at its resorts as it works to recover from the cyber attack. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Teacher union leadership has denied playing any role in recent sick outs that have led to school closures. But during a July 29th meeting where the Clark County Teachers Union discussed work actions related to contract negotiations, a slide titled Rolling School Outs was shown to the thousands of teachers in attendance. The RJ obtained an image of the slide from one of its employees who was at the meeting. The union's executive director said he wouldn't comment on assumptions or, quote, something that wasn't validated. And five schools experienced a high number of unexpected teacher absences but remained open today. Manch and Divich Elementary School, Orr and Swainston Middle School, and Desert Oasis High School are the schools affected. And a source says the vote on the A's Las Vegas relocation by Major League Baseball owners will occur in November. To get the green light to move to Vegas, the A's need 75% of team owners to vote in favor of their relocation. Two road projects move into new phases this weekend. Ramp closures start tonight from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. as a project to widen the 215 Beltway between Interstate 15 and Jones Boulevard begins, and restrictions in Centennial Bowl have been announced. The ramp from southbound US 95 to eastbound 215 will be closed between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Saturday, and the northbound lane will be reduced to one lane from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday. For more road closures and detours, log on to lvrj.com forward slash local. In your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, clear skies and light winds are in your forecast for this evening, lows around 74 degrees. For the weekend, sunny skies and light winds with temps staying in the upper 90s will get as high as 98 degrees by Saturday, but no 100 degree temps in sight. Clear skies for your evenings with lows in the mid-70s. We head into your work week with similar conditions. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, rental rates for a one-bedroom apartment in the Las Vegas Valley dropped double digits over the last year, according to a new report from Rent.com. The website owned by Redfin reports that month to month from July of this year to August, rental rates bumped up slightly. However, the average cost to rent a one bedroom apartment in the Valley in August saw an 11.9% drop year over year. And Allegiant Air added temporary flights to allow fans of select NFL teams to travel to away games. The airline is adding flights for fans of the Kansas City Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers to come to Las Vegas to see their teams take on the Raiders. For more details, visit lvrj.com forward slash business. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. When the Raiders take on the Bills Sunday, they'll be facing a local prospect. Bills tight end Dalton Kincaid, a Faith Lutheran graduate, was the number 25 overall pick in this year's NFL Draft. He's an impactful guy. He's already playing for him. You can see that right away. So a very skilled player in the passing game, very tough. Um, you know, just another dangerous weapon. They got a bunch of guys, obviously, that we're going to have to keep track of here and, and try to slow down. But In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom Coalition have filed a petition initiative to put the right to reproductive freedom on the Nevada ballot in 2024. 
The coalition seeks to expand Nevada's 1990 voter referendum, which codified abortion protections into state law by also codifying those rights into the state constitution. The coalition, which includes Planned Parenthood Votes Nevada, NARAL Pro-Choice Nevada, and the ACLU of Nevada, must collect 103,000 signatures by June to qualify for the ballot in November 2024. We also have a breaking news update for you at this hour as we are learning that the Nevada State Board of Medical Examiners have revoked the license of a Las Vegas OBGYN for two years. Dr. George Chambers was found to have engaged in misconduct with patients. This, according to the board, Chambers had engaged in disreputable conduct and demonstrated a continual failure to practice medicine properly by offering two patients $1,000 each to pose nude for advertisements for his practice. For more details and updates on this story, go to LVRJ.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Sharp money has poured in on the Raiders over the Bills in Sunday's game in Buffalo. The Bills opened as high as 10-point favorites over the Raiders, but the line has dropped to 8 at most sports books, while it's 8.5 at BetMGM, Station Casinos, and Boyd Gaming. The total is 47, and the Raiders are plus 330 on the money line at Circus Sports. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A man shouted, Viva Mexico, outside of North Las Vegas City Hall Thursday night. People cheered as he extended the Mexican flag, which was followed by the crowd listening to the Mexican national anthem. The shout out is known as El Grito del Dolores, or the Cry of Dolores. It's traditionally shouted on the night before Mexican Independence Day, which is celebrated September 16th. Hispanic Heritage Month has also started today and runs through October 15th. So for me, it's a, a celebration and a great recognition of all the colorful things that we bring here to the United States. Tune in to 7 at 7 Espanol Monday, September 18th and throughout the rest of the month for more Hispanic Heritage Month events and updates. Thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here Monday for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.